On the Twitch channel, there is a channel point redemption. 20,000 channel points. It takes anywhere between one week to two weeks to just naturally gain these points. But during these account reviews, um, I go on to your account if you're a PC or mobile player, and I interactively do a review. I analyze your characters, your weapons, your artifacts, and I see what is the most feasible way for you to progress through to Abyss 12, right? We go all the way up to 36 star, depending on your progress. If you just want a 412 clear, you let me know. Um, but that's basically how it works for reviews. So those, those YouTube frogs out there who are unsure, um, you don't get them right away and it's a first come first serve basis. Uh, but you can always learn from existing reviews. Alrighty, and what do you have in your inventory? You <laughs> Ah, yes. A lot of fucking artifacts. Alright, I will try my best, and it looks like you're also resin capped. We have an AR-55 frog here, chat. Main DPS are very obviously Hu Tao. I think this is one of the things that you wanted me to focus on. Ganyu already looks decent with Fort Blizzard, just lacking a five-star cryo piece here. So we have a Hu Tao, and your Xingqiu is AFK. Can we get your Xingqiu off bench? Floor 11, we have a Freeze Ganyu, which will most likely be using the Mona aspect of things. Um, and then the Xingqiu will be on the Hu Tao side, right? So I think it's okay for you to do this. Uh, you do also have Zhang Li. So we, I mean, you have every single unit in the game, right? You wanna, you could do a, a no healer comp. If you wanna do that, right? Cause like you could do a Zhang Li and you could just do Albedo, for example, or you could do Ning Wang, right? There's no, there's no, there's no problem with doing something like this and having Favonius here. Uh, otherwise we're gonna get Diona off the, the here, right? Actually, uh, since we're doing freeze on this on this side, um, definitely having venti, right? So this is this is a spam Q, freeze everything, everything die kind of build. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into floor eleven really quick. All right, let's begin. We have this ready. Get this shield on. Okay. And then oh, oh, where's my? Thanks for my ulti. Okay, hopefully next time maybe that won't happen, chat. Hi! Wait, where did my... Okay, Fairly solid. Why is the Hydro Mage not fucking T? Why is this guy AFK? What the fuck? Now this bitch TPs? Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, your Shin Show's level 11. That's also a problem, I just realized. Let us leave really quick, chat, and then use the other side of the team on this floor so you can just see how easy it is. This account has everything, but I'm just showing you guys like the synergies between the characters and stuff, right? So like, as long as you have Favonius on certain characters, uh, you'll be able to get their ults back quickly enough, right? And then the double Geo on the first half means that Ningguang becomes a secondary DPS, and then you don't need to do anything because your entire team is protected by Zhang Li, and Hu Tao heals herself on Q if necessary, so yeah. All right, leading with Venti EQ into Diona Q, Charge, Mona Q. Fun times, Ganyu, go freeze. Yep, cock. Keep switching. I, you honestly don't even technically need 
to even do this, right? Like, you can just have everything fro like, just alternate, just do a Q spam build, right? Then it's like not that problematic. So. Also, I think you have C6, that's also a problem. Fine. Should be fine. And then, wait. Oh, the enemy's over there. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this should be pretty standard, right? You've probably seen this many times before. This is just a spam old type of comp. We keep going crazy. Okay. That's pretty fun. Uh, once you get used to this type of comp, it should be pretty straightforward to clear everything. So, you're gone, you's fine. Um, I'm fairly certain that you're gone, uh, that you're gone, you, as long as... So you have four, let's see your Blizzard pieces in general, okay? So, Blizzard Destroyer pieces. Uh, I mean, this is better. You should definitely roll it. Heck. Anyways, good talk. Moving on to the next piece, the feather. Let's see how many uh, Blizzard Destroyer pieces you have here. This one is a two and then only stat. So this is two out of five. This one's Copium. That one's No Bueno, No Bueno. So this is the only piece that you can use. And then going here, attack person, you got nice crit damage hits. And then Elemental Master, Energy Recharge. You're not using this, but this would be a good like support piece. Not necessarily a Chongyun piece, because Chongyun has low, low, ener uh, low energy costs. But you can save this eventually when we get someone who needs it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, do you have a better cryo damage cup or are you struggling to get that as well? Uh, wow, that is quite smooch. All right, yeah. You don't have a single other option. It's literally just this. And then the mask we're looking at. Uh, unlucky rolls, you hit crit rate zero times. Healing bonus, healing bonus, and then crit rate. Ah, so this is the only viable piece that you can use. And overall, I think she's fine, right? She's not the worst. Almost is gonna carry you. Crit rate is a little bit low, right? Because even if you do do four blizzard plus her talent, which gives her 20% on every on all the subsequent autos or charge autos. Uh, and double cryo, you only gain 75% crit, which will put you at 95. So that's fine. Alright, so that's fine. Let's see. Your Mona seems to be pretty. Oh wait, your Mona's not even geared. Okay. Mavonia's codex is all you need though. Wow, amazing. Your Mona is 111 with no stats, but she was doing her job because she had Favonius Codex. Literally, I didn't even notice a single problem with this Mona. It just didn't do damage. That is that is how impressive a Favonius weapon is. You guys realize when we were doing the testing, uh, but Mona was getting her E and Q back all the time, right? You guys didn't even notice that there was, like, she wasn't geared. She was just perma-ulting. And that's all you need from her, right? Uh, these pieces might be Copium. Uh, these pieces both could be used. Ooh. Pause champ. Great rate, pause champ. You might be using this for Xing Chou though, so this is gonna be a little bit of a toughie. Still good. I would still consider using this. This could be either a Mona or a Xing Chou piece. We'll have to figure that out though. I don't know who it's gonna be yet. Uh, pyro, physical. What about masks? Attack, attack, HP, elemental mastery, attack. Oh, okay. Do you have enough no bless pieces to fix this or not? Uh, one, copium. Copium. Uh oh. We do not have enough for both Xing Chou and Mona, but that's okay. How about this? How about you just don't change your Mona pieces? So she was doing fine. Wait, is this the only no bless pieces that you have? Oh, okay. We're just gonna flip this for now. Uh oh. It's gonna be a little bit Mongo W too. So we can't we can't regear this. Xing Chou also is not geared at all. We have to figure that out. And then Venti. Let's see. I'm farming farm Legend of Bless. That's okay. Uh, really good weapon for him. Uh, definitely the best of your options. Great. Uh, artifacts is 4 Viridescent, which is fine. This is fine. Uh, kick W. Um, you just put on Viridescent pieces, right? You didn't really upgrade anything? Probably, I don't think you really need to... Uh, both of those are good. We're just gonna pray that you hit. If not, then you, it's fine. 
Sucrose has his items. Okay, well, those items looked a little bit scuffed to me, so I'm going to rebuild anyway. That's not that bad, but could be better, right? Let's take a look at this piece. Uh, well, you would never use that piece. Perfect. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, a excellent feather for Venti Boy. Okay, we're going to switch that over. Uh, your beard as inventor hat is... We'll just try this. Might as well, since we're getting... We, we got a good feather, right? So I could try to semi-gear him, even though it wasn't your intention. Would I use this over the other pieces? Mm, yeah, maybe. We'll switch it for now. Uh, that one's definitely being used. Uh, oh yeah, you're definitely going to steal that one. Uh, okay. So I don't think you're using sucrose right now. No, this is fine. And then a Nemo damage. We need to figure out... A Nemo damage. What do you have? Uh, usable for now. Just unlucky hits. Okay, so that's that's his piece then. And then the last fear destined is here. Crit damage, HP, attack, and then attack. So you were using this before, I think, right? What are your stats with this? You have no crit rate. That's the only problem. You have 11% crit kick. In that case, then the attack percent is better because crit damage is not going to happen. There's like literally no way you're going to get that. Do you have a Copium 4-star piece? Okay, this is 2 Copium. Okay, that's fine. I guess you're gonna use that then. That's okay. Uh, this piece is really good though. I'm gonna upgrade a little bit more to see if you get even more lucky. Watch this his watch this hit HP percent. Uh, that is a max roll, but it's still copium. We really want crit crit ray here, if possible. Anyways, moving on to the next character. So, what about Diona? Oh, you don't have enough noblesse pieces for Diona, so this is fine. I'm not going to be able to switch this up, but eventually I would like you to be using uh, the Favonius Warbow that you have R5 here. Uh, but I'm going to stick with Sacrificial for now until you get the artifacts for this, okay? That should be fine. That means your Ganyu team is suffice. You just need a little bit more noblesse pieces. Venti's carrying, uh, Ganyu's carrying. As long as Mona has recharge, it's fine. And then Diana Favonius is double Favonius. Easy clap. Four Crimson. So what you're currently running is a... Is this a C6 build? Okay. Yeah. So prior to this rear work, you have 14 crit rate. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can fix that a little bit. All right, 91 Crimson Witch pieces. Okay, well, let's hope that we can get something that gives you more crit rate.
All right, Gatita, you were originally at 11% crit rate and 220 crit damage. You gained 44 crit rate and you lost 40 crit damage. That is obviously better. But it could have been even better because we just, if we hit harder, we probably could have hit like 60, 200, or even 70, 200. But we had this piece, which Kek W defense. This Peach, which likes HP. This piece, which did a times five and went all the way to plus 20, so I'm gonna use it. This piece, which has 956 flat HP. And this piece, which missed crit damage completely. Nice. How about your Zonli? Dude, Zonli, okay. Not bad. Lithic Spear. Uh, yeah, let's level this boy up. Wait, you're telling me that the comps that I went with you and that were spamming the Q in floor 11 were ones with random ass weapons? Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna clear this much faster <laughs> once you invest in Pavonius lands for Big Dong. Yeah, so I'll be fine. Uh, how are your Petra pieces? So this is a two, two. One started four line. Damn, that would this would have been perfect. How about this piece? This is a two one two. It's Moj. Do you have any other Petra pieces or not? I don't think you do. Uh oh my. Okay, that's where your Petra pieces are. Uh, you're not building on beta right now, so that's fine. These are Copium. Uh, that's fine. HP percent. Do you have HP percent at least? You do. No bless pieces. HP percent. Ooh. Okay, we'll just use that for now. Uh, what Geo piece do you have? Boom, boom, boom. Wait, these are all good though. Uh, I mean, these are both good, right? Let's try this. This honestly could be Albedo piece. Yikes. And I got a 2x on that. Uh, I'll try this. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, not that bad, right? I mean, you could use that piece. You know, you could use this piece. Let's get it to plus eight. Just plus eight. That's it. Just plus eight. Okay, I am done. Nice. Alrighty, boys. I probably rolled like 200 flat defense. Damn. All right, Gatita. I mean, your Ningguang solid. Your Zhongli is copium level, but it should be fine. Just level up your Favonius Lance and you'll be good to go. Uh, Venti is good. Uh, Xing Cho? Do we even have pieces for Water Boy? Let's see. Moving on to Water Boy. Uh, we're definitely using... Okay, pause champ. One of these has to hit, Chad. That one did not hit. Ah! It's fine. Uh, I don't know if I can actually rework Xing Chou because you don't have enough artifacts for it. Is it fine if I don't, Gotita? Or not? Do what you please, my son. Uh, okay. Well, th if that's the case, then I think that is all I can really do. Because at least your Hu Tao went from 220 to 187, but gained 40 crit rate. So we'll, we'll pog it out. Hmm? But I think that's it. I mean, honestly, the main thing that you wanted me to do was roll a bunch of artifacts, which I did. Unfortunately, we rolled 65 flat defense. Uh, a little bit of H flat HP. Um, 956 flat HP. And 60 flat defense, 400 flat HP. And a little bit of EM here. Just get lucky. In the in the future, I guess. Forehead. And then you know your comps, right? Let me let me just actually uh floor twelve is gonna be the same comps, by the way. I just want you uh, you to understand that, right? So for maximizing damage, you're gonna be using the freeze hu tao here with this stuff, and you're gonna be using Ganyu here. This. Hmm? Freeze Oh, did I say freeze Hutao? I meant freeze Ganyu, sorry. So if you're struggling on 12-3, you could switch these two teams, right? Because you don't have anything to kill the eyes, right? Uh, of the Ruin Guards. But your damage output should be high enough that you can just kind of iframe everything and just kill them. So anything else, Kavita, or is that okay? How many 10 pulls? 
Got to how many? On which banner? Whichever one you want, standard or limited. I feel like I'm gonna do the standard. Boom! Moj. Moj. Noel's cute. Did you only want me to do one ten pull? Moj. You got two. You got two. Four stars, I guess, kind of. Yeah. We did not win on the polls, and we did not win on the artifact rolling. But I hope the gamers enjoy this review nonetheless. And I thank you guys for watching. Thank you.